So I'm not just working for WRC TV these days, also involved with Motorsport UK and their Co-Driver Academy, coaching the next generation of up and coming young co-drivers in the United Kingdom. And as part of that this year, we're partnered with M Sport. Um, we were actually up at Dovenby Hall in Cumbria a few weeks ago to begin the season's activities with M Sport. And I'm joined by Rich Miller now to give us a bit more information about uh, what that involved. So Rich, like I said, up there a few weeks ago, just tell us what, uh, what the idea is behind the involvement between M Sport and the Motorsport UK Co-Driver Academy. Yeah, so as you know, last year, um, Motorsport UK Academy, the Co-Driver Academy approached us to, to come up and do a tour and have a few t speeches and talks from a couple of members of staff, which which went down really well and I got involved. And, you know, I think both of us are from similar backgrounds. I remember competing against you, so you always beat me, but anyway. Um, <laughs> and, you know, we, we were looking at ways that we could, it got me thinking, sorry, about ways that we could help, you know, make the Academy even more relevant and give more opportunity to people. and. You know, I think it's important that we get new, younger people into the sport um, and ones that are just starting their career to come in and really experience things at, at, at WRC level. So, you know, we ran, we modified between us, we came up with some ideas to modify the, um, the, the session at Dovenby this year um, with uh, a prize of the best, uh, the best results from the challenges we set getting to come out here and spend the weekend with us in, in Croatia. So yeah, obviously there were a lot of challenges we set, pace note writing, uh, movement schedule tasks that you created uh, up, for, up from the logistics department at M Sport. But uh, the final element with that was was a pitch to myself, Nicky Grist, uh, yourself and uh, a journalist there on the day. And uh, from that was selected uh, Emily Easton Page, who can join us now, who made the trip out here to Croatia. Um, Emily, I believe it's your first time here at a WRC event, so obviously it's a, quite an eye-opening experience for you, I imagine, but just explain to us um, what it means for you to, uh, to be the first co-driver selected to be here with M Sport this weekend. Well, it's a, yeah, it's a massive opportunity, and uh, you know, obviously I'm, I'm very grateful to Rich and the Academy for, for allowing me to come out here and just see how big the scale um, that WRC is, obviously coming from uh, Scotland, you know, it's quite small compared to this sort of size of event and yeah, just to be here is yeah, amazing. So uh, obviously you're here for the full weekend, I understand Rich has lined up quite a few varied activities for you. Just give us a flavour of the kind of things that you've, that you've done so far and what's, uh, what's coming up for the rest of the weekend. So, so far I've been helping Emily with media and um, I was also on Root Note support crew today. Um, and then just generally like walking around the service park, trying to get a feel for the sort of things that you know the team get involved in, whether it's being at service and, and looking at that, or yeah, just being around. And then I was helping Celine with logistics as well earlier, seeing how she organizes all of that. And then Sunday, I believe I'm going out to do weather crew. So yeah, looking forward to that. So Rich, just uh, just give us an idea of why is it so important for these young co-drivers looking to make uh, make their way up in the sport to, to experience an event with uh, a, you know, such a big team like M Sport? You know, I think as Emily's touched on there, you know, <clears throat> we can sometimes be guilty of not realising how big the operation is um, and, and getting the uh, the up and coming guys and girls to come and see that is good is good for them. And, and you know, if they can take away a few things from what we're doing and help develop their their own careers with that and also have the opportunity to come here and meet some people, you know, meet contacts up in this this area, this level of the sport. Um, you know, it can really enrich their progression and, and career. And, you know, whether they end up in co-driving or um, logistics, team management, media presenting like yourself. <laughs> um, you know, there's loads of, I think rallying's a really interesting sport. There's so many things you can do with the skills that can be learned here. And if we can help them on their way, then, you know, that's something personally that I would really like to see happen. And why, why M Sport, who, you know, Malcolm was very good with me all the way through the years, allowed me to come to the position I'm in today. And, uh, you know, giving these opportunities to, to people who are really keen and want to find a break in the sport is important. Yeah, I think it's fantastic to see uh, all the, the help and guidance you're offering to these young co-drivers. And uh, yeah, hopefully Emily has a, a fantastic weekend, makes the most of the opportunity, and hopefully we'll see you on a few events later in the year. Rich, thank you for uh, also providing this for the time this evening. And uh, yeah, with that, um, hopefully the next generation of co-drivers can make their start with, uh, with M Sport in the future.